Welcome back to the Princeton Tigers. Today we are facing off against Auburn. They are two and one, one and one in the SEC. A minuses across the board. Looks like a pretty solid Auburn team. Um, Bo Nix, not the greatest quarterback. Definitely overrated. Okay, probably gonna torch us though. He's still SEC QB. Beat FCS, beat Texas a and lost to Mississippi State bad. So looks like they're a pretty solid team. Princeton all-time record eight and eight, one and zero record. For to show you guys this, our rival is Boise for some reason. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I think it's just a glitch. Um, they have some injuries. Number twenty-four in the country. Let's see if we can win this game. All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a tough one to win. Um, Auburn's coming in at a pretty dang good defense. Solids around thirties, twenties. Fifty-three rush, but we're not much of a rushing team. They have a 99 overall defensive tackle. I had no idea about that. Well, we are screwed. 94 overall punter and 92 overall kicker. They're going to be controlling the field. Really nicely. Do have a left in and Seth Williams is out. <laughs> no way. That's good. Seth Williams, guys, really good receiver in real life. Um, He's pretty much a beast. It's like 6'4", 6'3", 6 6'2", 6 something like that. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and load into the game. Here we are, guys. Jordan Hare. The Plains. Princeton going to win the coin toss. It's a rainy day here. We're going to receive, and Princeton will get the ball first. I right, guess here we are, first and ten. Start off the run for Christian Phillips. Yeah, pretty solid game. Actually, eight on the play. Let's go. Second and two. My strategy this game, guys, is to go slow, keep Auburn, slow down the game as much as possible. That's my strategy. I play back in the game. Don't I guess he's like out for the rest of the game or something. Last game, first and ten. Guys, first and ten. And with another rush. Phillips make, dodges a guy, gets seven on the play. Second and three. All right, guys, second and three here. Rushing game starting off great. Gonna throw that. That's probably picked. Shouldn't have thrown that, but it's incomplete. So that's lucky. Third and three. Third and three here, guys. We're getting a little controller vibration. Probably shouldn't run this, but I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a pass here because they're bringing a pretty decent blitz. Omar we'll Seaver can catch it. Had an Alex Walter open. Almost picked off. At number one. Fourth down. All right, guys. To win big games, you got to take a few risks. And this is the first one we're going to take. And we are going to get the first down to Epperly. What? He got the first down. Are you kidding me? They're cheating already. I'm challenging this, guys. That's bullcrap. He got the first down. Forward progress. That's forward progress, man. That's forward progress. He had the ball. He got the first down. He's way past the first down marker. That's a first down for Princeton. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Oh my gosh. They're already cheating us. Auburn already cheating like they always do. I don't Auburn, if there's any Auburn fans watching this video. That's sad that you're an Auburn fan. I mean, you, all you guys do is literally cheat. I mean, that was clearly a first down right there. 17 yard rush. That was our fault, but all you guys do is cheat. Just like you cheated out Arkansas on that freaking penalty. So, I'm I'm literally trying my hardest in this game, guys, since they beat Arkansas. Arkansas should be 3-1 and one at the point of this video. Nick's going to throw a good pass. First and 10. I don't know how he fit that in there. That was risky. Better slant play though. Second and one. First and goal here. Ah, touchdown. Bonix just takes it in on read option. Easy uh, touchdown, Robert. Guys, in that last fourth down play, I know I spun backwards, but it's still a first down due to forward progress. Ah, gotta get that block. Still a first down due to forward progress, man. 
Six yard reception by Grady. I hear guys one of my favorite plays in the playbook. It is a little bit risky to run though. When it works, it works. That was my fault through on the run. Grady's wide open. Third and four. Third and four here. Got A. Oh, Dunja Fay not gonna be able to catch it. Could have been pass interference. He hit him a little bit for. Whatever, fourth down. Horrible punt. No, that's a good bounce, though. Holy crap. What a punt from Tyler Roth. That was a good bounce. Down to the seven. First and ten here, guys. That's an insane bounce. It must be 40 yards. First and ten, though. They're on a slant, of course. That's all that Auburn does. And he's going to take it to the house on a slant play. Going to be about a 93-yard touchdown pass. Yep. Off a slant, breaks the tackle. Too easy for them. Alright guys, first and ten. Got B wide open. It's Grady. Make a move. Truck a guy. It's 20 on the play. First and ten. First and ten. Phillips gonna get six on the play. Second and four. It's a bench. Good catch by Costello. 16 yard reception. Oh, it's moving the ball good here. First and ten. The run. Phillips gonna get ten in the rush. Should have first down, but take it. Second and inches. Second and inches here. Is that a first down, Auburn? Yes, it is. First and ten. We got his Will Powers in for this play. First and ten. He gets six on the rush. Second and four. All right, he's gonna come out here on five wide. Could be risky. A wide open. It's Isaiah Barnes. Catches it on the run. Gets first and goal. Good catch there. Good pass and catch. Got no read here. The carry with Epperly. I don't know. I didn't know what to do there, guys. There's no read, so it's in the wings. Going to the second quarter though. Second and goal here, guys. O lineman got in my way. Had an easy touchdown there. Got he got in my way though. That's in the wing. Third and goal. All right, guys, third and goal. Just going to take us in with Epperly. Touchdown, Princeton. Just going to spread them out so they won't get in that stupid goal line formation. Easy touchdown there. 17-3, Auburn. All right, guys, first and 10, Auburn. They don't have crazy field position this time. Just glitches off on Cody White. It's a good tackle there. First and 10. First and 10 here. It's option. Smith gets trucked by court, the quarterback. Bo Nix is still going. It's 14 on the play. Second and 10. He was a conservative. Second and four here, guys. Oh, he's got. That's a good route. Got me. They're breaking more tackles. First and 10. First and 10 here. Looking, not looking good. They run play action. Smith is there. He breaks the sack. He breaks that tackle somehow. He breaks a tackle. I don't know how he broke that tackle. On conservative tackling. He breaks a tackle in during an animation. During a play action animation. He breaks a tackle. I did everything right on defense on that last play, guys. But I got cheesed out by breaking tackles. They're probably going to run it for a first down. A good rush. First and ten here. Some four verts. Got A wide open. Horribly underthrown and picked. A was completely wide open, guys. You see that? He's going to pick six it. Their safeties are breaking five tackles, guys. He's wide open. I mean, we got th like five. Everybody's wide open. They just have one cow playing back in all of them. Four be underthrown. Just don't have the arm to throw that yet. Should have known. First and ten. Throw a slant pass. Breaks it. It's 16 on the play. First and ten. Option, he hands it off. Smith makes a good tackle. Third and one. Just trying to pressure Bonex here, guys. They're just going to run it. It's option for Bonex. He breaks the tackle again and a touchdown. He has broken at least six, ten tackles this game already. Through two quarters. He's broken at least two ta at least like five tackles. You can't, can't, can't even tackle him. I'm conservative. I'll show you. It's unconservative, too. Guys, third and seven. Not too sure about this play. You got A wide open. Horrible pass. 
Okay, but it does it throws it literally. I don't know where that was going to. Fourth and seven. First and ten here. Throws that somehow. I don't know how. Breaks it. Breaks it again. He threw that while he's falling down. It's seven yards. Second and three. Second and three here. Guys. Throw an out route. It's 15 on the play. First and ten. I'm trying to bait him into a pick here, guys. First and ten. No, he throws another out route. Another out route. Sometimes the 20 yard one. First and 10. First and 10 here. Finally sacked the QB. It's a big hit, too. Second and 18. Alright, defense, see if they can hold through. Second and 18. They're on four verts. I've got good coverage. He throws it to his running back to get three yards. Third and 15. On timeout. Alright, guys, third and 15 here. To come out in some kind of a screen pass. And he's not going to get it. Let's go. Fourth and four. Alright, guys, we went the simulation cheese and it worked. They missed the field goal. So defense camp with a stop. It's good. Offense just got to score now. No eyes open. Throw it out. Nobody is open. Let's see, they're bringing some kind of weird blitz. Christian Phillips gets absolutely destroyed. It's eight yards though, third and two. Third and two here, guys. The play is short. Alex Walter makes a good catch. 13 yard reception, first and 10. All right, guys, second and 11 here. R RB, way under thrown. Oh, okay. It's picked off, off the tip. And of course they won't review that. I don't know about that one though. I, that hit the ground. That hit the ground. I can't challenge it because I don't have a timeout. No way. Yeah, I can't challenge. I already used my challenge. So. Guys, that was not a pick, but let's go. We'll have to uh, just go to halftime on the set. That is very annoying. Guys, second and four here. Just right, they just keep running it. Literally, that's all they're doing. Let's play action this time. We get to the QB. That should be intentional grounding. Oh, speaking of intentional grounding, guys. Remember uh, the Arkansas and Auburn game? He threw it, Bonex threw it backwards. They had to change the whole rule because of that. And Auburn does sure does like cheating, don't they? Sure do. Third and four here. They're running quick slants. Easy first down. That guy has ran quick slants like six times. He has five receptions. All five of those are slants. He's 12.2 average. See that? Just running slants every play. That's all you got to do. Play action. He's got a man wide open and he's gonna score. Nobody's gonna catch it. Cody White does. First and goal. Auburn's gonna score here again. Defense just I mean the offense just not be able to do anything. Defense stopped him once. Team's just flat out better than us guys. Man. Just don't have the just don't have the players yet to compete with him. Hand it off touchdown Auburn. And hey guys, it also doesn't help. They keep getting BS picks, like off the off the tip and stuff like that. Hey, Alex Walter, wide open. It's 22 yards, first and 10. They just brought a blitz. Third and 12 here. Got the tight end, Alex Walter again. They can't cover him. 16 yard reception, first down. First and 10. We got B underthrown, but he's not covering it. No, he's been there. Car Kelly gonna get a touchdown. Let's go, baby. That was, that's their wild. That was a glitch. He was playing C14. I don't know what that last scene was. They were like walking in the, in the bleachers, but nobody's even covering him. Easy touchdown for Princeton. We're cutting the lead to 20. I guess first and 10 here. Um, It's not letting me be. Okay. Play action. Ah, we got him on the comeback route. I guess first and ten here. It's a, some kind of out route play. He's wide open, split the safeties. That's horrible coverage. 30 yard reception. That guy's 122 receiving yards. First and ten here. 
It's a run play. Gaffney gets destroyed. Eight yard rush, second and two. All right, guys, we're gonna have to try to force a turnover here, or or stop him. Would be would be even better. A turnover would be even better, and we do. We stop him. Bonex has to be selfish. Thinks he's gonna break a tackle. He doesn't. Fourth and four. We have to take a field goal. All right, guys, not very good field position. Pretty bad field position this drive. Got to score though. All that matters is we got to score. Epperly gets three. Second and seven. Second and seven, guys. Brady wide open. He gets uh, a lot in the play there. First and ten. First and ten. B. Post corner read to work to perfection. What a catch by Grady. First and ten. That's like one handed almost. What a catch. Let's see that again. Good pass, too. Yep, one handed catch. First and ten. A. Alex Walter. Wide open. Perfect pass. First and ten. Let's go, man. Princeton offense doing good right now. All right, guys, second and ten. Option for Epperly. I don't know what Alex Walter is doing. Gets three. Third and seven. All right, guys, this is third and pretty dang long. I don't know if we'll convert this or not. Got RB open. Costello cannot make the grab. Sucks. You can't take a field goal here, guys. There's no point to. Why? It's not going to be a first down. Can't catch it anyway. None of my other players can catch on this team except for Grady. That's it. I don't know why I ran that play. That's stupid. It's my fault. I like how they're up 37-14 in the third quarter and they're still going hurry up. That just shows, that just shows what kind of team, what kind of sportsmanship Auburn has, I guess. Shows how disgusting of a team they are. That Auburn is so disgusting, dude. Literally just ran two out routes. And that's a first down. What a spot. Sure wasn't a first down earlier for me. I'm not QB run. Second and ten here. Bring a good blitz. Just puts his head down. It's seven on the play. Third and third three. Third and three here. It's gonna be option. He's literally just gonna run it. Man, that's a good spot for a first down. I don't know about that one, but of course they got a cheat for Auburn. Makes sense. First and ten. They're up 37-14 with four minutes left in the game. They're going hurry up, guys. This just shows what Auburn is right here. They're passing the football. Why are you passing it? Intentional grounding. Thank you. Huh. Pass interference. Defense. What? Pass interference on the defense? Automatic first down. Are you serious, guys? This is Auburn right here. Even in NCAA 14, NCAA knows they cheat. What is this game, guys? How is that pass now? What? Pass interference on my defensive lineman. That's what this game has come down to. And he's going to break it and take it to the house. Gaffney. Nope. Then they score. I run the score. Of course they do. They just score because it's a pass interference on my left end. Because there's no receiver in the area. How is that pass interference? Oh my gosh. Horrible pass. Third and ten here, guys. Just trying to get a first down. B. Connor Kelly almost catches it. Should have passed their RB. The safety will be over there, too, though. Oh, three and out. All right, guys. I'm adding this in here real quick. Just to say I apologize for raging, you know, in that last clip. But, I mean, at the time of recording that video, I didn't understand why they called pass interference. And now I do. I'm gonna try to explain those two cheating times, and I'll put those up on screen right now. But um, the two times that Auburn cheated in this video, first time is when we, Quinn Apple got that first down, fourth and th three, I believe it was. Got the first down clearly. I uh, he spun backwards for some reason. I may have accidentally did that or something. I can't remember. This is on Saturday at about three o'clock. I'm, I'm uh, doing this. Almost done editing the video this time but uh, I guess the game at, at the time of this game I guess forward progress they they uh, was it kind of glitchy I guess the forward progress was and they basically I guess spotted the ball wherever you're down so I guess 
I guess it's like an NCAA 14 glitch or something. This game is seven years old. Something like that. You gotta keep that in mind, so. You know, it is what it is, right? Um, almost eight years old, this game. Uh, and then... The second time Auburn cheated was on that pass interference, and I guess the target receiver was Bo Nix's running back. I don't know about that one. I mean, he... Th he he threw that out of bounds, and you can tell in NCAA 14 when the quarterback throws it out of bounds. It's the same animation, it goes way over the sidelines. I mean that the game kind of like had two glitches, like in one play. So the first glitch was throwing it out of bounds, and the second glitch was um, my t my uh, left hand. He tack he accidentally tackled the running back, and the closest receiver to the to the ball is the running back. So they just automatically counted him as a receiver, and that's pass interference. But uh, you got to remember, NCAA, NCAA 14 does. N I'm pretty sure that the uh, NCAA, I could rely, had in um, the make sure they had to make sure the ball was catchable. That ball is not catchable, so I guess NCAA 14 does not have that feature. But you know, I guess it uh, uh, just is what it is. But at this point in the video, uh, Auburn is running up the score. I'm just getting mad, doing nothing on offense. I'm pretty sure I threw another pick, too. Uh, so I'm just going to skip straight to stats, guys. I'm sorry for this uh, game. You know, it's probably one of the worst on my channel. I just, you know, I'm an Arkansas fan. You guys know that by now. I just really hate Auburn. So I was just not in a bad, I was just in a bad mood before the video even started. Like, uh, you know, I was just in a really bad mood. They just cheated us out two weeks ago at the time of this video or a week ago something like that just cheated us out yeah a week ago they just cheated us a week out a week ago after the um on the backwards pass changed the whole NCAA rule too by the way changed the whole entire NCAA rule uh just for that just because of that play but I was just in a bad mood uh before the video even started because we were playing Auburn um but anyway I'm just gonna skip straight to stats when I play 15 for 32, 242 yards, one touchdown, three picks. I play 9 for 32, I one. Phillips, 6 for 37, Piles, 1 for 6. Leatherwood, 6 for 92, Walters, 4 for 79. Phillips, 2 for 6. Kelly, 1 for 39, a touchdown. Sia Barnes, 1 for 10. Costello, 1 for 16. And Jaffe, 0 for 0. Defensive, 7 tackles for Leet in a sack. Arendis is seven, Wyatt is six, Seth is six, Gavin is five, and Brown is five. One sack on the day, zero picks, zero forced fumbles, zero deflections, zero fumble recoveries, zero touchdowns. It's a pretty good game by Tyler. Returning game, not too bad. More first downs, more offense, more, uh, Albert had more of everything. They have more time in possession, too. Overall, horrible game by the Princeton Tigers. I guys, taking a quick look at recruiting here. Um, Lance Henderson looking all right. Rucker, he's still focused on Rutgers. Mike Ridgeway looking really good. Should have him in the bag. Not a very good wide receiver. He's not that bad, actually, though. Um, Barnes. Definitely receiving tight end. Looking good though. Miriam looking good. Hand looking good. Burton. The you know, Ancy actually got locked out. I had to jump back in there. I gotta give him 200 points. Oh, I didn't know I had that many points left. I gave him 500 here. Um. Uh, Joe Benson looking good. Spencer Burton not not so good. Don't know how Buffalo got that high. I went down 910. Lee Watkins, all right. Joe Petit, good. These guys, all good. Uh, how many? How many points do I actually have? Uh, we have 200 points. All right. So I'm going to give 200 divided by four. 200 divided by five is. Um. 200 divided by six. 200 divi 20 divi 200 divided by 5 is um, 40 
Yep. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So 200 divided by 5 would be 40. So each person gets 40 points. Quick math right there. Quick math. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. These guys go up to 115. He goes up to 40. He's up to 40. He goes up to 45. Ah, I missed out on the math, so I won. Oh, that's right. Boom. Look at that. Guys, we, once, we have a big visit going up. That's why I have all these guys on 500s, though. Uh, I believe it is week 6. Is the, is the visit. We have is against Toledo. Yep, we got a few people coming on week six. Oh no, whoops, I gotta reorder them. Wrong thing. Um Oh, I can't do that in there. My bad. Alright, so Week six. We got Micah Ridgeway coming. Hopefully he'll commit off that. I don't know, it's only a the max points we can get is 620. I mean, yeah, so I don't know if that'll be enough. It's going to be close. James Barnes already had his visit. We, Gabe Merriam. He should commit off that as long as we get those points. Not too sure about Josh Hand. Only got 150 points. That's Garbo. Don't worry about Dwayne Burton. Tony Yancey. Got to get those two linebackers. Yeah, win the game. Joe Benson, we get the two at three hundred twenty points just for winning the game. Yeah. Joe Benson, pretty important at there. Spencer Burden, Lee Watkins, and Joe Petit. All um, wait, these guys don't have week. Spencer Burton though is on uh, the sixth. Too. So we have a few people visiting actually. So uh, we got to be ready for those visits. Alright guys, next week we are taking on our first Mac opponent of the year. It's going to be Toledo. Played at Toledo last year. We won 43-42. It's a pretty intense game. Kirk's going to Toledo. I don't blame him. They have, they're B-minus across the board, dang. It's a pretty solid team. Anyway guys, though, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe in the next video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.